She died a painful and preventable death. This is Alexis Sluter. Her family's attorney says she was here inside this youth detention center in Dalton shortly before she died. Right after her death, the Georgia Department of Juvenile Justice Commissioner told us the teen took an illegal substance before she was admitted here. But now, just over one year later, the facility's director and four other staff members are being charged in connection to her death. They had a duty and a responsibility to care for her while she was in their custody, and they didn't. The indictment against the now former detention center employees, quote, deprived a child of the necessary medical care she needed by not contacting emergency medical authorities in a timely manner. We received the policy from the state on what employees are required to do at this youth detention center in the case of a medical emergency. And here's what we learned. That policy says medical services staff will be notified immediately of any youth who appear to be unconscious or in medical distress. And necessary medical care will be provided to include immediate movement to a hospital. Alexis's family attorney says those working at and running the juvenile facility had a responsibility to protect the young girl. Although the criminal prosecution won't bring her back, it will be a step towards accountability. At the end of the day, Alexis deserves better. Karen Cloud, policy director for Georgia Appleseed Center for Law and Justice, says cases like this shine a light on bigger questions. Are we providing the our state agencies um, you know, with the tools that they need to to provide the services that our that our children are enti entitled to and serve.